Hello, kindergarten cougars, it's Mrs. Bellatash. And before we get started, I always like to go over our word wall. Observe means to look carefully, and we can use our five senses to observe the world. Properties is how you would describe something, right? I have a piece of wood. I could say that it, what shape it is. I could tell them how it feels, what color. These are the properties of the wood. And I can compare things. I can compare two pieces of wood. I could say that one is darker, one is lighter. I could say that they're the same size. When we compare them, we are noticing how they are the same and how they are different. We noticed that wood floats. Most wood floats. But if we added some extra weight, we could make it sink. And when we put water on the wood, we noticed that sometimes the water would bead up and sometimes it would soak in. Okay, so boys and girls, today I have a question. I'm wondering how do we change the shape of the wood? Because I noticed that I have lots of different things that are different shapes. Right? How does the wood change? How, does, how do we change the shape of the wood? Well, we're going to do a little experiment together. Will you please get out from your bag this funny looking paper? This is paper. It's kind of flexible, but notice it has something rough on it. It's sandpaper. So get out your piece of sandpaper and get out the piece of wood that's really white. The whitest piece of wood that you have in your bag. The color is one of the properties of the wood. So I have my wood and I have my sandpaper. And I'm gonna take my sandpaper and I'm going to rub on the wood. I'm gonna go back and forth. Ooh. I don't know if you can see that, but my wood is getting kind of fluffy. That's interesting. And I'm gonna rub it and rub it and rub it. I'm gonna do some of the corners. You guys do it with me, okay? I wanna make sure that you're using your sandpaper and rubbing on the wood too. I wonder, what's the best way to rub on the wood? Should you push really hard or should you push gently? Should you go back and forth with short motions or long motions? What do you think? Boys and girls, I used some construction paper. I put it down so that I could catch anything that came off of my wood. And I want you to notice a couple of things. There's something all over my construction paper. It kind of seems like dust. Where would this dust have come from? Well, yes, it came from the wood. You can even see some of the dust on the wood there. And do you notice how my wood has changed a little bit? I've made some of the edges a little like rounded. They're not as square. So I sanded this end. I'm gonna turn it around, see if you can see the other end. So you see this end, I did not sand. So I can change the shape of the wood by using the sandpaper. And look at this. This is sawdust. This is sawdust wood. It's just tiny little pieces of wood that came off. Oh, look, it blows around when I talk. That came off of the wood when I was sanding it. I'm going to sand mine a little bit more. Boys and girls, I noticed something interesting. When I rub back and forth on the wood, the sandpaper seems to get hot. 
Does it happen to you? The sandpaper gets hot. I can feel it on my finger. Boys and girls, that's because of something called friction. Friction is when things rub back and forth together. Hey, let's put your wood down and your sandpaper down and put your hands together. Ready? And now rub them back and forth. And rub them faster back and forth. Ooh, what's happening to your hands? Your hands are getting hot because when they rub back and forth, they're creating friction and friction causes heat. I asked you guys before to get a stick from outside. Now, when we started sanding the basswood, the basswood was pretty much already pretty smooth, right? It was a property of the wood. It was pretty smooth. But this stick is not smooth. It's rough and bumpy. I'm wondering if I use the sandpaper on the stick, if I can change that property of the stick. So I'm gonna get my sandpaper. I'm gonna leave my blue construction paper underneath and I'm going to rub with my sandpaper on the stick. Oh, this is interesting. You guys do the rubbing too. Wow. I really changed my stick. Down here where I sanded it, I made the stick smooth. Up here where I did not sand it, it is still rough. That's interesting. By using sandpaper, I can change the wood. Boys and girls, I want you to notice how the sawdust is different now. My stick was darker, and so the sawdust is darker. The basswood was really light, a light color. And so the sawdust from the basswood is light colored. So the color of the sawdust depends on the color of the wood. Boys and girls, do you remember how particle board was made? The tree is cut down in the forest. And as the logs are cut into lumber, when the saw goes through the wood, sawdust piles up underneath the saw. Then that sawdust is mixed with resin, which is a kind of glue. And then it's put into long sheets and dried. If I had a lot of sawdust, piles and piles of sawdust, I could use it to make my own particle board. Let's look closely at that particle board. Can you see the little pieces of wood? Doesn't it kind of look like the sawdust that's on the table? I can imagine taking the sawdust and adding some glue and making particle board. Boys and girls, I want to save some of my sawdust. So I'm gonna get a piece of tape, clear tape, and I'm gonna take it and I'm going to stick it down into the sawdust so that I have some sawdust on my tape. And now I'm gonna put it into my science notebook. And I'm gonna tape it along the side so that I have it there. You see where I taped it? I just wanna be able to have some of that sand, that sawdust wood, that sawdust so that we can look at it later. So what was this called? 
This is paper with sand glued onto it. What was this called? It's called sand paper. We can change the shape of the wood by rubbing the sand paper on the wood. So when we do that, it's actually called sanding the wood. And a person who does this, who works with wood, is called a woodworker. I think in our last story, a story of a chair, there was a woodworker who built the chair. So boys and girls, make sure that you have your science notebook and you're gonna open it to the next page. And this page says, how can you change the shape of wood? And I already uh, put a little piece of tape there. At the top, I put my name and the date. And then I drew a picture of some wood and some sandpaper and sawdust. And this is what I did. You see that? I have the wood and I have the sandpaper and I have the sawdust coming off. And boys and girls, I always like to label things because in science, that's what we do. We label things. And then this is what I wrote. I can use sandpaper to change the shape. I know that's a long sentence, but I can use sandpaper to change the shape. Make sure that you start your sentence with a capital letter. Make sure that you end with a punctuation mark. Boys and girls, I noticed that I forgot to put lines on your paper and I'm sorry for that. I did draw some lines on mine so that you can see how I wrote mine. So I drew a picture, I labeled it, I wrote a sentence, I have my sawdust there and I have the date. Oh my goodness. I am loving science with you guys. See you next week, cougars.